I spent 150 days as a Neanderthal in Rimbo Biotech, and here's what happened. Booga Boogas are strong and tough, but dumb and slow. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. We have constructed the base and work on a spike trap corridor, but food is scarce, so we hunt some dough. After they are dead, we cook the food and build sculptures whilst continuing the research as we assign roles to everyone. Silver, Trid, and Null Tank were together and are going to get babies. We get the honor quest, so we accept with Silver. It is taken out as we complete the ritual, and a bear was hunting us, so we take it out. We construct and assemble a room east of us, as it will become a workshop and storage area. They also planned out the outer perimeter as the couples get pregnant. As we work on food, a deadly malaria disease was contracted by mosquitoes. We will further research on electricity as we tend to everyone and use pre-chelf. And from the silent, we luckily got word of trust. A heat wave would prove difficult, but not without passive coolers. Furthermore, a caravan arrives as we sell weapons and buy medicine. On their way out, they encounter an insect cave on our map though. We haul insect jelly back as we strip the corpses to get some skulls. And our wealth is very high as a transpod crashes into us with visage masks. The woman's babies were growing inside them as we work on an outer spike trap corridor. Ambrosia sprouted on the surface so I use growth zones to automatically harvest them. The rumbos come and we work on the base, but a toxic mech cluster arrives. Ophelia is finally giving birth and a healthy baby comes out. He will be named Hero. Cribs are placed and we cover up mountain overhead to prevent infestations. Power and wind turbines are finally up as Silver now will give birth and it is a healthy baby. A visitor also came and provided. The plan is to mine uranium and make mazes out of them to one-shot body parts. Moreover, marble tiles will be replaced for beauty as we remove the spike traps before a raid arrives once again. Silver gets pregnant and we work further on the base for a storage room and I look on the world map and see a lot of good camps I might take. We further research plate armor as we finally arrive to two losers. Back home, there's some Manhunter pack. We have to deal with this with our tamed Mega Sloth I got earlier. We tend to ourselves and chop down some wood. In addition, more mazes will be crafted and freezer constructed and another raid. I got a lucky quest for Janissaries, but Arctic Foxes will come, but they can help me with this raid.
I noticed a girl with a drill arm. We need her. And the man hunting foxes are here. But I need to construct a medical room to get this drill arm. But now we need to fight the foxes. No rest for the wicked as Neanderthals are attacking us. I use the thrombos to enrage them. Hopefully, they can help us. A really good Neanderthal. I imprison him and harvest the drill arm out of glasses. We look into the ideology quest as the prisoner already has a berserk. Then I install the drill arm. With the glitter world medicine we got from the quest we succeed. And the babies are chilling but the raid is coming. We defeat the mechs and work on the base as the prisoner gets berserk. I wanted to get this relic from ideology so I do one of its subquests. Research further on machining and work on more armor, a silver prays at the anima tree to get word of trust. We need food, so I ooga booga the mufalos. This space is filthy. Hank will clean it up and more babies are incoming. Yes, Silver, but the birth must have shook the earth. An infestation. We tend to ourselves and shred mechanoids. They also wanted to become a mechanitor, so let's get that. We extract the mechling thankfully and tend to our wounded, but unfortunately a siege. We beat out the fire and haul the free mortars back to base. Infections were prominent as we constructed a kill box. Silver and Trid broke up and are now broke. With the Mechanitor we work on numerous tier 1 mechanoids. We haul everything back as waiting for the mechs commenced. We will rebuild the base and mine steel for resources. Everything is looking good, but wealth management is just as important. The Ooga Boogas work on another storage area and more utility rooms as a heat wave swept upon. 
on the lands. Our kids can now walk and help as a mech cluster with toxic spewer appeared. We mined some more components and construct an ideology room. We also got microelectronics, but power is down. Solar panels it is, but it is time for Diabolus. We also got a Mechanitor complex quest and I need more Mechanitor so let's get that. While we're out, we're also going to complete another ideology subquest. Luckily we complete the quest to make our way home, but not before long, a mech high with centipedes. We repair and fortify our base, and use our electric smelter. Nothing can stop this strong stupid race. With the Diabolus chip, we are done with standard mech tech. Time for the next tier, War Queen. We expand the kill box into two parts and open one of two ancient dangers on the map. They can handle the extra wealth, more bandwidth for militors, and another infestation.
base is looking good, eh? But I need all that insect meat. Let's expand. If you cook lavish insect meals, you can offset the moody buff. Let's get the other ancient danger. We capture people with marine armor and research high mech tech. A chemical room is also needed. High mech tech blueprints placed. After it's done, we use the rip scanner to get fabric cores and paramedics. Look at all that insect meat. The whole map will be stripped of resources. So many mech raids though. Tending to the meleists as thrombos arrive. After that, we have fabrication and work on components and thrombo for dusters. But I also need more Diabolus chips. They all flee like the fleas in your hair. Then we mine more steel as a bulk good trader arrives. We capture and rip scan the Edakins as another siege was here. The base is thriving as the Ooga Boogas destroy everything. We construct some more, but a toxic raid was here. That was the hardest raid yet. Crematoriums are needed as we haul everything back. Look how far they've come. Anyways, it has been 150 days. If you want to continue on this save file, then consider becoming a Patreon member. Anyways, thanks to my members and Patreons, and if you're bored, then watch this video next.